Hello everyone, it's your boy Saf. Um, today we're gonna be recording another video uh, trying out the sample teams from smogon.com. Uh, in this video we're gonna be trying out the rain team with Moltres uh, made by Old Spice Mike and the Xav GB. Um, team's gonna be in the description if you wanna try it yourself. I mean you can you can simply find the you know samples team on smogon.com and grab the teams as well. But yeah, the goal of these videos is to experiment with the builds, see maybe some synergies that we didn't originally think. Um, see how they perform uh, because you know they can say okay the goal of these teams is to be you know proven good teams right um, but when I see things like Molders in rain I'm like already skeptical I'm like hold up this is actually got a hit um, it's a little bit spicy does this actually work so that's the goal of this um, we'll see if it works for us and uh, you know upload it on YouTube so you can you know make your um, you know make a decision about the team if you want to try it yourself if you feel that uh, maybe there are better options and shit like that but yeah if you like this type of content feel free to subscribe we actually hit 1k subs uh we actually hit 1k subs i was missing uh the last week because i was playing uh, a little bit of pixelmon in my free time uh and uh also i was like i was partying bro not gonna lie <laughs> it's summer in greece and when get when when it's hot we go out we go for the beach parties and all that stuff so i had no no time for pokemons but um yeah i, I, I want to be playing but yeah whenever whatever whenever i have time i'll play and upload but um yeah hopefully you don't hate me for that i'm, 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 I'm it's not like a full-time job it's something playing pokemons and uploading something i enjoy so i do whenever i have time basically what i'm trying to say um but yeah, i appreciate you for subscribing and getting me to 1k it's a, it was a little goal that i had uh, placed and i'm also gonna be making a discord now that we hit 1k uh so we can both you know all together you know work on a couple of teams you know we gotta solve the meta in that discord i'm excited for it um but yeah first i have to learn how to make you know proper discord service anyway let's talk about the team now that we said all that all that adam all that random stuff so this is a team this is a rain team right rain is a little bit gimmicky in uh, generation 9 since the archalodon ban um although we do have some cool pokemons raging bolt fits naturally very well these offensive teams we have iron dreads we have a bunch of stuff that oh shit okay so my bad it was on instagram um what was i saying yeah so we have some good pokemons that fit naturally these rain teams uh belly Bear is a great setup uh setup for the for the weather we have parascuta to uh, as a swift stream abuser outspeeding and did a lot of damage as a water type because rain boosts your liquidation and flip turn your aqua jet and then it outspeeds basically everything um so we have like there are a couple of things that you need to consider when building a rain first of all you're you're very because you're trying to, to take advantage of the rain, right? So you want the flying type to be spamming hurricane. That's one way you can abuse the rain. Or you want the water types to be able to spam strong water type attacks boosted by the rain. And swift stream. Um, there are a couple more ways, I think, with like uh, hydration, mana, for example, or some other abilities. But basically, you want strong waters and strong flying types. Um, so we have both in this. Moltres is not like the Pokemon that I immediately think as a... <laughs> as a what it's called as the you know main flying type the main way i can spam hurricane also thunder by the way yeah that's another way you can abuse it um but Moltres has decent special attack it's a fire type which means in the rain you cannot use fire type attacks because they're gonna they're gonna be half damage so that's trash but you do have the coverage of hurricane and the weather ball and it provides some defensive utilities for supposing grass types and ground so it's not bad um i think I don't absolutely love it because like you're only using hurricanes um but we'll see how it actually performs Off offensive motors with probably defensive terra as dragon for water resistance grass resistance versus ogre pond versus tontos or versus shit like that or momola all that fun stuff primarina you now resist the hydro and you can hear again to a ko it hopefully hopefully i'm not sure how much damage this shit is gonna do um but yeah when building rain there are a couple of pokemons key pokemons that you need to be prepared for one of them is dragonite uh the other is uh electric types and grass types so things like bulky bulky grass types like among us uh rillaboom uh serpero is another one ogre pong can be annoying so these grass types are gonna be something we need to be prepared for like that's why we have the terra dragon and then uh, we have electric types like opposing raging bolt 
We have electric types like Rotom Wash, which is very viable. Uh, hands, not so much. What are the electric types that we have? That's about it, right? That should be it. These are Pokemons that you, and typings that you need to defend against because you're trying to use a lot of water types and a lot of water type attacks and flying types. So you're naturally weak to electric and grass. Um, so Regic Ball fits naturally very, very well in, in this course. We are using max speed to be able to, out, to outspeed most opposing Regic Bolts. Uh, and we also have Iron Treads for security versus opposing Regic Bolts. Uh, with this cool EV spread that is meant to still outspeed Great Tasker Plus One and Dragonite, where, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit and also a lot of bulk to be able to defend against Regic Ball. So this team is very well defend defending versus like a Regic Ball, which is like the premier um, electric. And then there is Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash, not so much. Chads cannot switch on Rotom Wash. And Regic Ball, although it can resist both, you don't block the Volt Switch. So Volt Switch feels quite spammable versus this team. Hopefully we don't face many Rotom Washes because it's not like the most common Pokemon, but it is a niche and usable one for sure um another pokemon and typing that you need to defend against is dragon when using rain and dragon is like super spam because this is water basically and they are fast strong pokemons so you have like dragonite you have dragapult you have raging ball as we said uh, walking wake gouging fire not so much because you don't resist water with it although it can still be problematic um so resisting dragon and be able to to eat dragon type attacks is very useful and number one dragon type in the tier dragapult it has very spammable jaco meters versus rain normally it eats an attack from uh, liquidation barascuda even even in rain it can leave a terra water liquidation i'm pretty sure for from full and it gets a lot it gets to spam a lot of attacks versus like belly bear and barascuda which like the main rain abuser sorry the main setter and main abuser so Double Steel can help versus it. We also have super strong Dread Blades. I wonder if after a Will O Wisp you can eat, you can you can kill it in one hit. Maybe after some Supreme Lord. Uh, let me calc that. Let me calc that. That's an interesting calc. Maybe that's why they have it. Strong priority for sure. Dragapult. Let's say this. Naive, but you are burned. Katao, you need some uh, Fallen. Not five, four, maybe three. Yeah, I know that. Three Fallen is reasonable. So you can kill Dragapult even after a Wisp from full HP, which is quite nice. Uh, and you also have the very strong Sucker Punches. Uh, so I like that, which can help you break through like, like more defensive Pokemons or even like Oko stuff versus offense. So this is quite nice, like for example, Ogre Bond, right? So dealing with Dragons is super important. That's why we have the Ice Spinner here uh, with, this speed, with this EV spread. This EV spread helps you versus Raging Bolt 100%. Uh, you have enough attack for dealing a little bit of damage and you have enough speed for uh, outspeeding plus one Jolly Dragonite, which is used with Scale Shot, uh, Terra Fire Set, and, or Terra Ground and Anchor. Uh, so it's good to have a way to be able to revenge kill Dragonite. You can even, if he gets out of hand, you can even go for a Rapid Spin into Ice Spinner. And if you force it to Terra, then it's good. Then you're gonna be able to, then you're gonna be able to resist a uh, fill anyway. We also have Security versus Dragonite with Will Wisp. This Pokemon should be able to eat one hit, a plus one. So you're gonna be able to defend versus it using that. Uh, I don't see. Uh, we do have Terra Ghost on this, but he wouldn't. If if they Terra Fly, if they Terra Normal the Dragonite, right? They're gonna be able to lose stall you. Uh, you don't beat it 1v1 Terra Normal versus Treads. So I don't see the point very much. But you can also spin block, I guess. And E-Speed Resistance is quite nice, I guess. I don't know. I don't love... It's not... Uh, um, it, 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 we should have tools to be able to defend versus Dragonite, in theory. In my head, at least. But it can become a threat, I feel. So... Let's go bolt extra security versus Dragonite. Uh, because normally, you can leave one hit. And... Let me calculate that. Let me calc. Because I, I might be thinking defensive, right? Because we don't have any defense. We want a speed tie. Yeah, normally can leave every hit. What about plus one, though? Oof. That's why it's important to have, like, the bulk, which is 64 and I think 28. Something like that. Nope. 28. Mm. That's Adaman, though. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting versus Dragonite, for sure. Um, Terra King Gambit can help versus it. Yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical about the Dragonite matchup, but we'll f figure it out. I think Willow is plus Treads and Raging Bolt should be enough. Should be enough, and we can also use and break the, the, the thing. So yeah, we'll see how that's gonna go. Um, double Steel for the Dragons that we said. And 
another thing that you gotta keep in mind with use when using rain is opposing uh, opposing water types how you break through opposing water types because like ogre Prom, for example has water absorbed so your brassicure is forced to click close combat every time uh, so it's risky right so you need a reliable hurricane which is why we have this set right here it's quite offensive um, I would love if it had knockoff because you can put stuff in range with hazards um, I love for attack set but um, but yeah, at least we have the hurricane and terra steel so we can resist like some flying type attacks which is quite nice or even power gem if we want to a lot of speed def i'm not exactly sure what it does but um yeah anything else so yeah we want, you want to pressure mainly offensively you want to pressure uh water type so we have strong hurricanes right here we have the raging ball with the thunder and we can flip turn into those with safety terra, the terra dark direct plate king gambit can also have versus bulky waters like alomomola tondozo uh, or even killing uh walking wake and what's it's called an ogre pond in one hit with sucker punch maybe after a boost or supreme overlord boosts so yeah i like that i like that um anything else that i need to think about anything else priority is something that you need to defend against when using rain priority so opposing king gambit opposing raging bolt uh Jagonite, as i mentioned what other stuff maybe azumarill uh great ninja maybe or samurai sucker punch that could be an interesting uh, threat um because priority you're, when using rain your goal is like to use fast and strong hits water type hits right uh so priority can especially sucker punch or or thunderclap can go before your shit and then it can become uh you know a good way to defense kill your fast squishy type of uh sweeper so us using like max speed here and such is quite useful we have iron head so this kind of helps with molters against fairies could work um i would love if we have low kick but i we have molters on this with willow so it should help us versus king gambit king gambit can feel like a threat but raging ball outspeeds and has the terra fairy for sucker punch resist so i quite like that we also have aqua set priority in close combat so i don't know how weak we are versus opposing king gambit it's a king gambit right it's, it's a demon so we gotta be careful um but if i feel too weak to it i could go maybe for a max speed low kick type of set and if i'm feeling safe versus fairies with moltres i can do that i feel um but that's that's something we're gonna experiment uh really so yeah that's uh that's some key i feel ideas and such slow king is also a big threat and hazards stealth rocks pressure paper very badly uh and torkoal so all all kinds of weather except maybe titar so the spin right here is gonna help us versus it uh, because trades can reliably spin versus a lot of stuff um so yeah that's how i feel about this uh but yeah slow king is something that we need to be pressuring we don't want to sit with our molders and just spam hurricanes that are gonna do like 35 percent to it um we want to punish it hard with our dread blade king gambit so these are all ideas i feel that are gonna help us benefit i'm gonna play aggressively versus slow king let's try out the team let's try out the team i just wanted to give like some thoughts about the build right it took me 14 minutes to do so ah i'll say 10 minutes to give my thoughts 10 minutes it's good enough it's good enough because we wanna in this channel we, do, we don't want to just you know autopilot and click stuff we actually want to give it like, give it like some thought process before we start clicking um so what do we think here um dreads is not a bad lead versus glimora stuff because we should be able especially with a spdf investment to live um but i'm very afraid of like uh live earth power that's what i'm trying to say but I'm very afraid of like him sucking serlets and then I have to face both stealth rocks and spin and uh, not what's called toxic spikes. So I would hate that. Um, Barascuda is a good lead. Barascuda is actually a good lead. Because I can flip then spawn the T spikes, go treads, and boost the energy out, speed this shit, and then I click earthquake or rapid spin, or even rocks, because I leave the thing. So I think I will do one of those leads. I don't want to lead Pelipper and get Weather Bolt. I think. Oh, I should leave. What is, what is your name? Uh, Guillemora. Yeah, I should leave with a SPDF investment. Oops, that's the music I'm, I'm playing in the back. <laughs> so I should leave. But then it's gonna pain the ass if he gets the rocks up. So what I'm gonna do is go Barascuda. As he leads Porygon Z. He gets a special attack boost, which sucks for us. I don't know if you're Scarf. That's something I don't know. So I'm gonna scout for it. Um... 
that looks scarf. Gotta get our rocks to pressure some stuff like Skarmory. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be able to go into our Moltres and scare somebody. Uh, I can also go Belly Bear to be honest. Let's go Belly Bear. Set up the rain. Oh, you are Stealth Rocks on this over Glimora. So that makes me think Glimora might be something else. Um, I'm gonna Weather Ball. I think it's quite free. Water is this is Rolling Moon. I also outspeed this. Ah, he went Whirlwind. This is very nice. We're gonna click a safe Weather Ball. Which also hits Glimora and Cerulege. Perfect, perfect, perfect. If you were Sass, this is gonna break your Sass and this is gonna kill you. So this is really nice. Uh, let's see where he goes. Uh, probably Porygon. I'm thinking you're gonna go Porygon, right? Roaring Moon could come in, maybe. Or Cerulege. Cerulege, though, I just showed you Weather Ball, so... It's actually a, a quite problematic Pokemon for them to deal with. He actually goes Rolling Moon. This is a Pokemon that we we do want to deal with. It's a Water Resist. Um, Moltres. What's his name is? Rolling Moon. That does nothing. 52 is uh, pathetic. But it will be in Rage of Parascuta. Worth. Oh, that's even better. That is even better. Now I can suck somebody that I don't need. AKA Iron Treads. Although dealing with Hazards would have been nice. It's much more uh, uh, valuable for me to keep the Moltres. And then I can go Barascuda and click the Strong Liquidation. Yeah. I don't think I need to... Skarmory is low. I don't think I need to predict or go for a flip turn. I think Barascuda right here could, <laughs> could potentially just sweep. I'm not gonna lie. Because he has to go Cerulets and Terra. Everything else is gonna die. He kept the Rolling Moon at 20%. Uh, less than 30% without the boost energy for some reason. I don't know why he kept it for. Yeah, uh, I think this is game over. Not bad. First little win. We take those any day of the week. Any day of the week. All right, let's see. So game one went well. Um, game one went uh, quite well. Moltres uh, surprisingly had good matchup. We did surprisingly have a good uh, matchup. I was skeptical about the Moltres, but first game, not bad, not bad. It seemed to 6 0 our opponent's team, especially after we caught him with a weather ball. So, not bad at all. Let's see, hopefully, we get a game without waiting like too, too long because I hate waiting. Where the games are? Where the games are? Look at all these users 2,000 active battles. Where are they? Where are they? I'm trying to find a game. Give me a game, bro. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical about the King, opposing King Gamery matchup, but we can trade Willow is for it. My opponent's using some uh, heat. Um, yeah, my opponent's using some weird stuff. Very weird. We have to deal with the Dark Knight that I was talking about. I think Pelibar is a fine lead for everything. Excuse me. Oof. It's a fine lead versus everything. I'm thinking they might lead the Walking Wake and drop a Jaco on me because my water, my Jagon resists are both uh, not resisting water. But he does go Pelipper. It might be Choice Band. I do want to break the multi scale. Uh, what is my Pelipper? Dragonite. Uh, let's say Choice Band doubles uh, Outrage. Should be able to live. Jesus Christ, that does so much damage. Let's just take those treads. I don't want to get uh, destroyed uh, turn one. Alright, that's uh, something you can use. Uh, I'm gonna Ice Spinner. I think it's very valuable and it hits all three Lando, Dragonite, and Great Tusk. Um, if we don't get confused. Alright, that's quite good. We outspeed, uh, unless he's Scarf. I don't see fucking Helmet. Should I get paranoid about that cap? Alright. Good thing I didn't. We get a little bit of damage on the Walking Wake. Uh, this Walking Wake is a big ass threat for my team. I would love to Earthquake it. Like, I have, but rocks are nice. Okay, yeah, rocks are a little bit better. All right, fuck off. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Oh, come on. What is this? I told you my opponent is using some heat, but I didn't expect that. Uh, <laughs> all right, Walking uh, Wake. What, you, what is your name? Barascuda Fish. Close combat. Yeah, this uh, rocks. Um, would be nice. Let's uh, find another way of dealing with this. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I all of that. Anybody should live one. I don't know what's happening right now. Not a big fan, not gonna lie to you. Not gonna lie. Hopefully he just struggle dances again like a dumb bass and I go bars couldn't close combat his ass. That would be the best case uh, scenario. Although he might tear after and I'm, I'm getting messed up. What is this bro? The dragon dance walking wake. Alright, glad you disconnected. Team works. I'm glad you disconnected, Mr. Dragon Dance Walking Wake. Oh, he's back. Dragon Claw me. That is 59 with a life or by the way. Yeah, this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my life. Let me drink some water. Go Barascuda. Let's come by your ass. That should be fine. If you tear a fairy or ghost, first of all, fuck off. And second, fuck you. I'm still gonna be able to revenge kill it. I'm just gonna lose my Barascuda, which sucks because Bar Barascuda has click attacks versus this. Except Dragonite, with some sort of weird Hirigan said that I, uh, I really don't like dealing with. But um, we're, we're gonna have to deal with. Um, if he goes Dragonite, I think I'm, my play is gonna be Raging Bolt. And Bolt him, honestly. I'm just gonna Bolt him. So here again, that is specs as fuck. There's no way that's not specs. Uh, with Dragon Bolts. Like, I don't want to go for a Thunder versus like a Heechan. Ah, might as well. That seems offensive as fuck. I did 33. Yeah, I, I have to be skeptical about this guy because he's using some uh, dog shit sets. Um, so that looks offensive as fuck. I'm gonna Thunderclap you. He's gonna Earth Power and nuke me. It says I mostly live, so I'm gonna go for this. Unless he's like Specs or something, that should be good. Uh, I'm not good. Fuck off. Man, suck my dick. Damn it. My opponent, my opponent is only using garbage. I don't know what he's... I don't know what he's doing. Um, should probably keep this one alive, but it would, it would make a lot of sense to just e-speed me, right? Let's see if I can get a burn. Nope. Are you gonna be stoned? It's my good sir. You didn't show me what you were. No way you're gonna be stone it. Oh, I like that crit. I like that crit. Keep critting. Um, we have a sack. Heavy slam. Okay, I think I'm not gonna suck actually. I'm gonna go paper. What kind of chan is this? Uh huh. It's that type of chan. Um, I would love to lose first you. Yeah, I don't think you beat me at all. <laughs> this is the worst hit of, of all time. Yeah, my opponent is like. My opponent is having a goal, like I'm gonna use only bad sets. That's what the goal of his uh, build is. Uh Bear versus Dragonite that is uh, uh Choice Specs Modest Choice Specs Modest. That's why Rocks would have been uh, very nice, by the way. But well, we didn't get him with the fucking confusion shit. I leave this. I do wanna break your uh, multi scale, so I'm actually gonna stay in, leave your shit. And then go somewhere. Somewhere better. And by better, I mean Moltres. I'm gonna click a nice little hurry gain right now to pressure this kid. This does so much damage, by the way. Holy, and man, this shit. Man, did. Man, did zero damage. But, good thing you are in range of my attack. I'm gonna go King Gambit. Should be able to live easily. It's gonna do like 35, 36. Alright. And we're gonna iron hit you. Yeah, the D Knight uh, did a lot of damage to my team. It naturally is a you know a good Pokemon versus my build, right? But yeah, that one did a little bit too much damage for my taste. Um Ah fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off with this shit. <laughs> You're so annoying. What's my name? Lazy game. Alright. Um, no rain, but you should be dying to this. In fact, everyone should be dying to this. He does outspeed me, so I have to go for Jet. Maybe the place to go Pelipper. In case he tear uh, fightings or something. Maybe my place to go Pelipper. 
I do want to keep my belly bear. Uh, but if he kills this, I lose. I don't want to lose. I like winning. I don't. I don't get to that point very very often. But when I do, I'm happy. I'm happy. I won. He's thinking, should I Terra? Should I Terra? What should I do? If they are fighting, for example, I'm screwed. So I'm actually gonna switch. Nope, he's a brainless. He's a brainless. Raging Bolt, you can go. Focus Blast. Alright, brother. Alright. So now, let's say he Terra Steel, right? In the rain. Mm, mm, yeah, it should be good. So I'm gonna jet. Oh god damn it. Are you actually gonna Should I Terra this one? He's gonna Terra the great task after. Ah fuck off. He got me. He got me with that stupid shit. He got me. I'ma go Billy Bear. And by Billy Bear I'm in Moltres. What are you? Can you get burned? I have flame body. No? No burn? It's fine. Liquidate. Let's see if he tells us. He should sack the Lando. Mm -hmm. He should sack the fucking Lando. Oof. Task comes in. Ah, god damn it. Are you choice man? Please don't be choice man. God damn it, what choice man? God <laughs> damn it, was fucking choice man. <laughs> we used. God damn it. <laughs> oh, it just actually killed me one hit. What is this? Muscle band? The fuck? The fuck is that? Oh, that just naturally destroys me. Oh, that was pathetic. I was destroyed by this random shit. That dragon I did way too much work first, my ass. Not gonna lie to you. Ah, Dragon, I did way too much fucking work for me. Maybe I should have kept one of the fucking priorities. I don't know. Did I misplay? Is it my fault that I lost? Probably. I was afraid of choice band, so I, I like that switch. And then I got confused. Right? Yeah, rocks would have been so good. Rocks would have been so good. This shit did a lot of damage to me. Alright, whatever. Okay, we have an actual game. Um, so they have the Dragonite that I was talking about. They also have the Aegic Ball that I was talking about. The Terra Grass Heatran. So I gotta be a little bit careful versus this uh, crap. Um, I am gonna lead Pelipper, I think. And if he leads that, I can just go into my Aegic Ball. They should have Weather Ball because they're not using it on rain. And by Aegic Ball, I mean I know Treads. Um, yeah, it does actually have a Balloon. Um, so that's annoying. That is annoying. I'm actually gonna stain. I leave every hit, especially with the spedef investment that I have. Uh, fuck off, dude. Come on. That is some crazy shit. No way that happened now. Flame body. I guess it makes sense to be flame body on this team because you have Ting Lu for opposing Iron Moth, so you don't need the flash fire. This guy Terra. Ah, fuck off. You are so annoying. I'm just gonna spin. We broke the balloon. We wasted the Terra. He spams this, which makes sense. I can switch now. But I'm getting a little bit of damage. I'm getting a little tiny bit of damage every turn. Like I don't mind this that much. I don't mind this that much. Here, take an earthquake too. Yeah, 20. No problem. No problem at all. I think that's good for me. I like that shit. I like that shit. What's gonna do versus this uh, Moltres? Now that you tear it. You gotta go Ting Blue. Alright. Makes a lot of sense, actually. That does 23. Yeah, Moltres is lame. <laughs> the fuck is that? Okay, 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 okay. I see you now, Moltres. I see you. Give me something good. I like you. I like what you're doing right now. I like you. I like you. We got a flip turn. Versus Zamming Tones. Uh-huh. Oh, this is going well. Are you going to be stone my good sir? We'll find out. We will find out. But uh, as we find out... I'm gonna hair gain. Ooh, Ding Lu should live easily. I really don't want to stay in with this mon against the uh, Regic Bolt. I want a U turn. I'm gonna be stacking damage if he goes Regic Bolt. 
I'm gonna be stacking uh, hazards, not uh, damage. But I think Pelipper is like such good, such such bad positioning for me to stay, stay with. So I'm gonna just switch. I'm just gonna switch. I go with my Moltres, my good ass Moltres. Okay, nice little hit, little what's it called weather ball. Sacks the Chan. All right. I need to deal with that uh, raging bolt for sure. That's one more I need to deal with. It will be very nice if I deal with it. There it is. There it fucking is. Yeah, let's click one of those. 31. Draco Mass. Okay, that is uh, specs. That is specs, right? No way, it's not specs. Moltres. Raging Bolt. Draco. Meteor. Yeah, that is specs as fuck. Because we didn't see... Let's say we didn't see any other item. Yeah, that's specs. Uh, we, we now know it's specs. What is the plan versus the specs Raging Bolt? I'll tell you the plan. There are two plans. One of them is go King Gambit and, and Iron Head. No Terra, no nothing. The other play is Raging Bolt and Terra immediately. But that depends if I leave a fucking uh, Long Rush from Tusk. As I Terra, after Hazards. I should. I should. Now, if I'm feeling frisky, I don't Terra right now. Yeah, I don't Terra right now because I'm feeling frisky. I do not Terra. Yep. And another reason that I did that and felt frisky is because I have the max speed investment. So I should leave that. Weatherbolt you. Yeah, we weatherbolt you. Pulled comes in to click whatever they want to click versus me. Terra Blast. What the fuck's wrong with you? Is that specs? We're gonna go King Gambit, I think. He did Terra Blast versus me. I've three fallen, right? What's name is? King Gambit. Dragapult. Let's say Specs. I don't hit. Should kill. Yamagenta. Alright, we click Iron Head right here. We either deal with Dragapult or deal with uh, deal a lot of damage on Zama. Like a good 30 maybe? After rocks. Alright. I don't know what the set is. It should be Iron Defense, right? It should be Iron Defense. I always go Pelipper. We know your specs. That is something that we know. Would be Pelipper. Hmm, Volt Switch is annoying actually. Volt comes in. Hmm. So what is interesting right now? I can go by a scooter, kill this. And be a good sir. Be a good gentleman. But then that invites the Zama. Oh, that is just such an interesting end game that I don't want to mess up because I do have actually so we know with the specs right I can go King Gambit and Sucker Punch I can also go King Gambit and Katao immediately on the possible switch into Zama um if I go Barascuda and click Liquidation then he goes Rizic Bolt and spams Thunderclap but if he clicks Vault Switch I'm screwed if he spams Thunderclap, I can go King Gambit and Swords Dance after. But then he goes Amazenta, and it's either 50-50. Do I hit with Katao, or he clicks higher defenses and I'm screwed? I think... My play is to, st to go Barascuda and spam, bar uh, spam Barascuda. Yeah, spam Barascuda. I'm gonna spam Barascuda. So I'm gonna click Liquidation. Oh, fuck off. What is that set? What type of set is that? And now he's either gonna click Volt Switch 
or thunderclap and beat me fuck off man how do i get him wrong damn it damn it bro is it me messing up or is it like i don't know like i feel i don't feel i misplayed any of these two games i got flip body there i got a little bit of damage here flip turn barascuda positioning and i did this destroy with the specs thing but where would i switch after what happened with the treads maybe i should have kept the treads i go for this i calked so i switched maybe into pelipper at 50 instead of going for the terra right there and waste and not have like the boost energy maybe sucking treads was the, not good because I, sh I had to rapid spin terra blast i didn't know like terra blast probably fighting right but He double switch right there like a fucking madman. Knowing that I'm gonna switch to my pale bear. I couldn't switch into my King Gambit because he clicks full switch. I take like 60. I live at 5. Like I couldn't switch there. Um so I go about a scooter. Maybe King Gambit was the play. Then I didn't think about Saga Brands, not gonna lie. I thought it's specs. Um So maybe my play was to go King Gambit at here and then because he has Terra, right? click katao i leave every hit and then it's the same thing that i need to get the play right versus raging bolt hit the thunderclaps or hit the thunderbolts ah damn it i don't know a lot of 50 not 50 50s but you have to get the plays right um mm, i don't know i think i've used better teams and better rain versions i think my my volcanion rain is a lot better Moltres is interesting not too threatening but it's also not bad that it has a lot of things going on for it i don't know i wouldn't use this team uh it's not for me but uh maybe others who you know don't get the place wrong because i did get the place wrong if i got the place right versus like the, this sort of sort of 50 50 is like versus thunderclap and shit like that if i got this play right or if i played more aggressively which you should with with rain then maybe it, it, it will it will win more for you but for me it didn't win so I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not gonna say it like it's a bad team or anything. It has like because we said like we, we said all the key points that you need to to defend against. We said Juggernaut. We said shit like that. Um, but we faced like a bunch of other stuff. We faced Raging Bolt with specs. We faced like Terra Blast physical Jagapul. I don't know. I didn't love it. I, I didn't, it didn't flow very well in my hands. But it, it it in theory has all the things that you need to do um to deal with stuff so yeah maybe it's just me i don't know feel free to try it give me some thoughts um this is gonna be the bit um yeah i'm gonna be trying to upload it more whenever i have time and when i'm feeling like playing but uh world cup is happening right now so i'm helping there a little bit so my time is usually spent there i'm also playing some big someone because i'm enjoying it so yeah we'll see how it's gonna go i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to be uploading more and uh, i'm uh, currently working on making a discord for us so yeah, let me know in the comments how you feel about this and uh, I'll catch you with another one. Bye-bye, everyone. Peace.